Dear all, welcome to the course of Principles of Management for Semester 5 and 6 BTEC students. I am Lakshmi Vijay Kumar, Assistant Professor, Department of Basic Science and Humanities, Rajagiri School of Engineering and Technology. In this session, I will be discussing the following topics. Empowerment, Delegation, Centralization and Decentralization. Let us begin our discussion with a quote given by Martin Yan, Chinese chef, author and host of cooking shows. I think a lot of times it's not money that's the primary motivation factor. It is the passion for your job and the professional and personal satisfaction that you get out of doing what you do that motivates you. We can say that the opportunities for achievement, responsibility and personal growth are more motivating in the long run than basic pay and benefits. One significant way that managers can meet higher motivational needs is to shift power down from the top of the organization and share it with employers to enable them to achieve goals. Empowerment is one way of motivating employers. Empowerment is the authority or power given to someone to do something. Employee empowerment has become one of the most important motivational approach. If you take the best seed from the tallest tree in the forest and put it in a flower pot to grow, it grows only 2 feet or 3 feet high and it looks cute. It is a replica of tall tree. Why doesn't it grow as tall as other one? The reason it does not grow because we didn't give a base to grow. We all are capable of doing much more. It is the institutions and concepts that limit us and keep us down. Leaders become great not because of their power but because of their ability to empower others. What do you mean by empowerment? Empowerment is defined as the process of becoming stronger and more confident, especially in controlling one's life and claiming one's rights. But empowerment can also have many different meanings to different people depending on their experiences, circumstances, hopes and dreams. Empowerment in Management Empowerment is the concept in management that if employees are given information, resources and opportunity at the same time as being held responsible for their job outcomes, then they will be more productive and have higher job satisfaction. Why empowerment is important? It enhances the beliefs of the employees that they are influential contributors of organizational success. Employees believe that they have an impact on important decisions. Employers derive a sense of self-determination. Let us look at the advantages of empowerment. It motivates employees. It creates mutual trust. It helps to improve creativity. It helps to create a stronger bottom line. It engages the mind of every employee. It helps to make use of human resources. What are the disadvantages of empowerment? Lack of centralization of decision can cause confusion. It can create tension between employees and managers. The next topic is delegation. From a management perspective, delegation is when a manager or team leader gives another member of the staff the responsibility and authority to complete an assigned task. Delegation is the process managers use to transfer authority and responsibility to the positions below them in the hierarchy. Delegation of authority is a process which enables a person to assign works to others and delegate them with adequate authorities to do it. The five principles of effective delegation. 
effective delegation begins with defining activities and responsibilities you are delegating choose the right person to delegate the task the secret to success lies not in doing your own work but in recognizing the right person to do it when the results are clear it allows the employee to use his or her creativity and resources to accomplish the task clearly communicate the expectation responsibilities and timeline be sure to ask the employee to share his or her understanding the follow up meetings should be focused on two things monitoring progress and determining the need for assistance advantages of delegation it relieves the manager from his heavy workload it motivates the employees delegation helps in maintaining a healthy relationship between the executives and subordinates delegation helps to improve the job satisfaction motivation and morale of subordinates delegation enables a person not only to discharge his responsibility but also to discharge it effectively and economically disadvantages of delegation managers lack the motivation or knowledge to delegate effectively many managers believe that if you want it done right you have to do it yourself a lack of trust in subordinates improper delegation can affect the productivity of the entire organization delegation to an incapable delegate these are the some disadvantages of delegation next topic is centralization centralization is a systematic and consistent reservation of authority at the central points of the organization centralization is an organizational structure that gives the ability of decision making responsibility to higher management control and decision making reside at the top level of the organization advantages of centralization centralization has very important role in providing disciplined environment in an organization every lower level worker is answerable to the higher authorities in a centralized organization we can see a clear chain of command a focused vision is there then cost reduction is there a quick implementation of decision disadvantages of centralization workers don't have the exposure to show their skills as they have to follow the rules and order by the higher authorities they feel demotivated while working in a centralized organization the decision makers has the power employers tend to work under them according to their rules in certain situation their outcome is not creative as the workers constantly working under the rules and supervision of higher authorities they get the feeling of slaves rather than the organization employees next is decentralization decentralization refers to a specific form of organization structure where the top management delegates decision making responsibilities and daily operations to middle and lower subordinates the top management can thus concentrate on taking major decisions with greater time abundance decentralization is the process by which the activities of an organization particularly those regarding planning and decision making are distributed or delegated away from a central authoritative location or group disadvantages of decentralization in decentralization there is no uniformity because the every manager has their ways to make people work there is the possibility of duplication of work in a decentralized organization 
many employees are required to be hired according to their work experience and knowledge this criterion increases the cost of the company we can conclude that the managers can use this strategies to facilitate engagement and improve performance of employees managers can create an environment that promotes engagement by providing employers with a sense of meaning a sense of connection and a sense of competence and growth thank you